Hi there. I'm Nandita of Curry Cravings. Today we're making bacon bhatta, which is roasted eggplants. And in an earlier clip, I had shared how to prepare the eggplant and get it ready for roasting. This is what the roasted eggplant looks like once it comes out of the oven. It was baked for, uh, for about an hour to 10 minutes at 450 degrees. And as you can tell, it has become nice and soft. The skin on the outside has gone thick and leathery. And this is the one we're going to remove in order to make bag and bata. For this, we're gonna use a small paring knife and just make a light cut. And you might almost be able to pull it off without too much hassle. So as we can see, this is the part of the skin that we're not going to use. However, there's still a little bit of the eggplant still stuck in here. So we're going to carefully peel that away and continue working with this eggplant to get all of the juices and the flesh of the eggplant out. I'm going to move this to the side so you can see better how I'm going to work this. The piece that I pulled off was a piece of the skin, but as you can tell, probably you can tell, there is a little bit left of the eggplant still in here. Now you'd wonder why this is important, but this is also the part of the eggplant that has the really nice aroma um, from its from the baking and it gets the smell of the char. So you want to be sure to to save that and not toss this out. Let's work with the eggplant itself. I'm going to move this out. And what you can do is essentially use the old pan for saving the skin. On a chopping board, I'm going to try and open this carefully. This has been cooling for a little while, which means that it's not going to steam on my fingers. And as you can tell, there are a lot of seeds in here. Now, normally people will just take these seeds and everything and just add them into the bag and perta. I like to take the seeds out. So what I'm going to do is first separate these segments out. I'm going to save these larger chunks of just the flesh separately. You've got to use really delicate hands on this one just because it tends to crumble on itself and you will probably never get all the seeds out but it's one of those things. Eggplant actually belongs to the same family as tomatoes and its seeds are really fine. And they're very flat and thin and um, they were circular like the tomato seeds. These are the ones that cause tummy issues for some people. So if you have had any aversion to tomato seeds or um, of you know, foods of that kind that contain um, just crushed tomatoes whole with the seeds and all, this would be a good reason for you to take the seeds out from the eggplant as well. Uh, I will take a break and show you something else that I'm going to do. I am setting all of these aside in a little mesh pan with a pot underneath to catch any of the juices. What I'm going to do is actually sieve through and push this through, push the um, these portions through the sieve so that the top will hold the seeds that I don't want and the bottom of it on the underside, you'll end up with some of the pulp. So let me do, let me show you how easy it can be to just kind of get the the main part of it separated out. As you can tell, it literally just came off in my hands. And this is the beautiful, tasty, earthy, warm part of the eggplant. You'd get the roasted um, 
char taste in here. So you want to be sure to, to save as much of it as you possibly can. And we're going to come back to those pieces in a in a minute or so. I'm just doing a very rough um, sorting to ensure that I can capture as much of the the whole eggplant, the, this this part that's really soft and fleshy and cooked in one pot. Look, this was not hard at all. It is, it can feel messy um, just because it's eggplant and you're working with your fingers on mush, but um, this is very soft and tender. And you want to be sure that you check again for little runaways like this guy. So for the most part, I have removed this, the seeds as much as I can. And like I said, you know, you're not going to be able to get all the seeds out, but these are the ones that actually stick in your teeth and bother some people. So I'm removing as much of it as possible. Oops, this guy needs to go here. These guys, this is a little bit of trick and fun and sorting. So now when you have the, the rest of the skin, we've, we've taken out as much of the seed as possible, as, as many of the seeds as possible, and there's still going to be some left over, like here. But this is what is immediately adjacent to the skin. So you can see on one side, this is this leathery um, eggplant skin, and on the inside is this white skin that is still stuck to it. So using the back of your knife, slowly see how you can scrape it off and add it to your pot of seed-free, or relatively seed-free, roasted eggplant. You might even get some of the skin in here, and that's okay. Uh, bacon pertha, for most part, is a, a skin a dish that is made with uh, without the skin of the eggplant so it's very soft on in your mouth it has a very luxurious and silky taste so um, in that contrast in contrast to that taste if you get a few pieces of the skin they tend to be a sharp contrast they are they are more leathery so you want to avoid that as much as possible but if you get one or two in there it's it's not going to hurt the dish at all Look at all those caramelized juices of the eggplant. This adds a tremendous amount of flavor that you're not going to be able to replicate if you just were to take the eggplant and um, completely just pulverize it while it's still raw. This roasting process helps kind of heighten the sweetness that's there in the eggplant. So you're gonna enjoy it a lot more. All right, so now I'm done with this part. And look at the giant eggplant. That's all it's reduced to. We've extracted this. This is the pulp part of it. We've extracted most of the pulp that was inside. I'm going to carefully transfer that over. And move that out of the way. And in the next step, I'm going to show you what to do with these guys. This is the seeds. 
these seeds are there is a little bit of pulp still remaining in here as you can tell uh, but i want to extract all the seeds away and remove that from the dish itself so this is going to take a few minutes let me come back wash up and come back to you